Don't talk about it, comma, just show them, period. Don't talk about it, comma, just show them, period. Don't talk about it, comma, just show them, period. Uh, yo, what up, Street Talks here, Kim? Right. Quick mountain turbo thoughts. So, this one is basically on the idea that don't just tell them, show them. And I think the reason why this is a good idea is because. Nice view, huh? Right, the reason I think this is such an interesting idea is that one could try to describe a place with words or through texting and stuff like that, but the big downside is when you try to describe it in words, words are often lacking. And this is where doing videos, GoPro vlogs, getting a GoPro head strap or a chest strap is a good idea because when you could actually show people something in real life, it actually makes it much more real and relatable. And so even something I'm curious about, I'm like, what's like a day in the life of Kanye West or Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk? I mean, I would like to see a first person POV of them, you know, having their morning coffee or, I don't know, are they on email all day? Are they, you know, on their laptop, are they on their iPhone? Like, I'm even curious, like, the small details, right? Like, does Elon Musk use a laptop or does he just do everything on his phone? Um, what does he eat? <laughs> like, it's actually the curiosity, which is uh, what drives me. And I think the reason why this kind of curiosity is coming because, you know, certainly I want to become as epic and great as Elon Musk or Kanye or Jeff Bezos. And when you kind of show the ordinary behind the scenes things, it makes people seem much more um, like relatable in a good way. Um, <laughs> the funniest thing that my niece Amelia said, I don't know, she was like three or four, He's just playing with, you know, a Batman Lego thing and he you know, has the Lego hat, right? And she takes off the mask and then she's like, oh! and then she looked at it and she said, you know, this is her epiphany. Without the mask, he is only a man. <laughs> or without the mask, he is just a man. <laughs> and so this is where it's a good idea to take people's masks off and stuff like that. In so far much as, you know, I do believe in the personal opportunity for the grandeur of all human beings. A nice view, huh? Um, so I, I personally believe in the grandeur of all human beings and I think what my personal striving towards is how can we augment human possibility to the maximum and to think just beyond ourselves. I mean, I think being selfish, quote-unquote selfish, is useful insofar much as 
selfishness is more honest rather than people trying to be like super duper like selfless. Um, and something I've even discovered is that, you know, this kind of like Nietzsche will to power vibes is that like a lot of missionaries and people, monks, whatever, who seek to do these more like quote, quote, altruistic works, they themselves just want to feel some sort of greatness or superiority or whatever. And so for example, um, you know, a lot of Koreans go to Cambodia to do aid work and missionary work, right? And the downside of this is inherent in that is that you yourself see yourself as a superior race or the group, the caste, and you see all these other individuals as lower than you. And therefore you feel like the quote, quote, white man's burden to educate and civilize them because either you have a religious duty to do so or because you know you feel guilty otherwise or you know whether you like it or not it gives you a small surge of power and that's where the notions of like even quote quote tragedy porn is kind of a a tonic for a lot of people is that you watch these things or look at the photos or whatever and you're like oh thank god my life is actually not as bad as that person's uh, even Nassim Taleb has a, a funny saying is that the quickest way to become rich is to move into a poorer neighborhood and the quickest way to become poor is to move into a rich neighborhood and so the, the for me the downsides of um, thinking about social comparison is that what if you yourself have no equal and you are incomparable so for example um, myself, you know, my heroes, Elon, Kanye, Jay-Z, Jeff Bezos, whatever. But I would actually not desire to become them or trade places. Even if I had $10 trillion, is that like, <laughs> I have the personal pride that I could deadlift more than all of them. Um, and to me, that's just like a silly point of pride that I have. And it's something that makes me feel good. Um, and also, I could imagine that I personally have more um, personal freedom in my life. I'm sure, you know, it's, you know, it's sad. I feel bad for Kanye. I feel bad for Kanye, you know, like his wife left him and estranged from his kids. Um, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure Jeff Bezos is like, checking his uh, billionaire's list and he's like, oh, is Elon richer than me or not? And I'm sure that Elon Musk is in just a horrible health and his kind of like, almost like a messiah figure is that like, oh, Earth is screwed. Let us all go to Mars and colonize Mars because that's the next um, thing for humans. And also, uh, you know, desiring to make hum humans interplanetary. But for me, like, I like, I like Earth, right? I like, like, <laughs> I mean, you know, if I had a chance to be on a spaceship to Mars, why choose so? Yeah, maybe. Um, but at the same time, I like eating meat. It's probably gonna be difficult to eat meat on Mars or on a spaceship. Um, and also, it probably don't make sense to do deadlifts on a spaceship because you're just gonna waste precious resource energy. And I like some of I like my, my meats and beef belly at like Costco Business Center and stuff like that. So watch out for the mung mung, okay? Um, and also I like having access to an insanely fast internet uh, Wi-Fi connection. Um, Stuff like that. Um, even he, being here in the Korean countryside, or I call it the mountainside, is uh, it's quite great. I mean, I like I like the the sunlight, uh, the mountain elevation air. Even the tap water is pretty phenomenal. Um, I feel like I've been having even greater turbo thoughtage while being here than being in the the flatlands. And if I had an option of owning the world's nicest McLaren or Lamborghini but be stuck in the Orange County LA suburbs 
or live here with my unlimited fast free Wi-Fi, my rock friends, um, my super fast Wi-Fi. I would actually probably prefer uh, to live here, but philosophically speaking, no place I think should be forever, which means like each, I think each place should kind of be like a launch pad or a, a lily pad, like a command center until you're off to the next one. Um, because I think too much time spent in one place leads to stagnation, but uh, at the same time, too much uprooting is also not good for you too. So uh, I think if you have the option when you're traveling somewhere or you're living nomadically or being somewhere else, whatever, trying to spend at least one month in a place, ideally two months plus is quite good. Like even in Vietnam, the first three to six months was just kind of getting accustomed to life in uh, Vietnam. And then six months to a year into uh, life in Vietnam, that's when I had like my Air Kim Renaissance uh, 2017. Um, and uh, yeah, even now, um, my time in uh, Cambodia was quite great, quite uh, eye-opening. And I was able to innovate using the trap bar, hex bar, open hex bar, and deadlift over, uh, deadlift 551 pounds. Uh, I forget how many kilograms that is. Um, something that probably wouldn't have been possible in the States because I was still stuck in either thinking about um, sumo deadlift or mixed grip. Even something I'm thinking about going back to the States is when I try deadlifts, like I was always so anti straps for a long time, but I'm starting to realize even with sumo deadlift, right? I mean, even Half Thor who deadlifted 502 pounds, um, he used the figure eight straps. And I was even thinking about it, like if I'm trying to do a one rep max sumo deadlift and I do a mixed grip, right? The the leverage is a little bit awkward. Technically it's better to just keep your arm straight and then pull that way. Um, or better yet, um, uh, find a gym with an open hex bar is a kind of another, another life of mine, but anyways. So yeah, and I think uh, the undulation between living in the cool, cool countryside or the mountainside as I like to call it, and going to the city and you know living like semi-nomadically, like I think if you have the option, being able to live in a certain locale for two to three years and then going off to the next place, um, I think it's actually a really good idea. Like even, um, you know, expat families or military folks it seems like it actually does afford a much more interesting and dynamic lifestyle even this one girl um that i met 18 year old kid super duper intelligent knew like five languages um and you know that's something that i aspire for my son seneca to have and also <laughs> things that he loves he loves being in nature he loves throwing around the rocks the other uh, earlier before he took a nap I started doing the rock toss in front of him. He thought it was hilarious. Um, and also the nice thing about being in a non-city, I suppose, is there's like a quadrillion things to look at, right? Like if you try to pick up all the leaves, it would probably take you a hundred lifetimes. Um, if you counted all the rocks, Seneca loves throwing the rocks. Um, also we've been blessed is that the sun's kind of come out a little bit. Uh, in the days where the sun is not here, it's actually pretty cold and miserable. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's hilarious because you know I really like the view and the you know plan stuff here but even like after being here for like three or four days you kind of get used to the view you're like wow that's so nice right like visitors always come there just like jaws drop right now I'm just like ah you know it's pretty nice you know whatevs even um this guy I knew his name is Ted is he built this epic you know super modernist house by the water by the sea and i'm like oh do you do you ever get bored of he's like yeah you just kind of get used to it so in life we tend to kind of uh, acclimate to everything i think is a, a a good life thought um things i am grateful for you know being at my mom's house the, her wi-fi is insanely fast uh i feel like even when i was in cambodia i was sipping wi-fi through a very narrow straw so now being here uh, also having my mom's support and stuff like that like i feel like i've been able to innovate uh, a lot more um and even ironically being here in the mountainside in hadong and there's like 40 people who live in this village the wi-fi is so much faster than i experienced at public wi-fi coffee shops in uh, seoul um shout out to ole o-l-l-e-h 
I think it's hello spelled backwards. My mom doesn't, she don't even have the fastest Wi-Fi plan, but it's just like, I can upload a two gigabyte video in like 45 seconds. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's pretty cray cray. Um, even in the States, if you're one of those lucky people who live in the Google Fiber neighborhoods, I don't even know if it's that good. But anyways, um, the downside of most Koreans, uh, <laughs> they just use their fast Wi-Fi to consume YouTube. Oops. To consume uh, YouTube and, uh, you know, silly entertainment more. But I think that's also the thing with technology and Wi-Fi and stuff like that is that it's always kind of um, a double-edged sword is that you could either use it to your benefit or to your great detriment. And, and uh, you know, I suppose the difference is uh, maybe having the, either the intelligence or the fortitude or the practice to do so, yeah, this is pretty nice. Just like puts Windows Vista to to shame, right? And that's also that's something I think too with turbo thoughtage. It seems to make ideal sense to live on an elevated mountain side side and have a view into a valley. Like even if you think about like the Oculus Rift um, virtual room, you're like in this modernist house, just like on top of the hill looking at everything. But if you think about like um, you know uh, thus big uh, zero through shut Nietzsche vibes, you know like. You become a mountainside hermit and at a certain point you want to go back to land to you know, in interact and engage with society um you know i could probably rock toss for the rest of my life but you know eventually i would like to go into the gym and do more like powerlifting hype lifting uh, as i call it things i have been enjoying like i did earlier was doing this um hill climb or this hill sprint so essentially any mode of living or any mode of whatever is always a good chance for you to innovate. Um, also do like this notion of solo entrepreneurship in which you care less about, you know, depending on other people, their skills, whatever, but you try to yourself figure out, okay, give it, given my limited skills, abilities, how can I maximally innovate whatever I do in my platform, whatever, to, to take things further, to innovate. Even something that was interesting, I was reading the original uh, Google research paper that was written by Sergey Brin and um, what's his name, the Larry Page. And early on, they both had very rudimentary HTML skills. So that's the reason why Google's um, home screen search bar or whatever was so minimalistic. Is It's not because they're just like, you know, they had like Zen aesthetic. It was just more of a, that's just, they couldn't do much in HTML. Even I think about myself, you know, there's there's always every other day I'm like, oh man, I wish I could program and do this. But like things I could do, I could do rudimentary HTML. I know how to blog, vlog, write things and send email newsletters. And so, you know, given now the, the fact that, you know, Seneca, you know, you know, I have a limited shelf life. Thank God his um, his naps have been more epic. He's been able to nap like uh, three hours. And so that I could use that time to do what I really care for. Nap. Um, and yeah, and so, you know, moving forward in our life, my big suggestion is, you know, don't wish that you had more time, but just more intelligently leverage that time to your greatest benefit.